Ever wondered why some arguments, despite seeming convincing, don't hold up under scrutiny? Welcome to the intriguing terrain of logical fallacies. Now you may be asking, what's a logical fallacy? Well, it's essentially a flaw in reasoning, a kind of mental trap that can easily trick you into believing something false or misleading. We encounter these fallacies in everyday conversations, debates, and arguments. They're like optical illusions of the mind, making us believe things that aren't necessarily true. Understanding and identifying logical fallacies is essential. It sharpens your critical thinking ability, enables you to construct stronger arguments, and helps you to avoid being misled by flawed reasoning. It's a bit like learning the magician's secrets. Once you know how the trick works, you'll never be fooled again. So it's time to dive into the fascinating world of logical fallacies. Ever been insulted during a discussion? That's probably an ad hominem fallacy. Ad hominem, a Latin phrase, translates to against the man. It's a common fallacy where instead of challenging the argument or idea itself, one resorts to attacking the person who has presented it. Picture this. Two individuals are debating climate change. Instead of countering with research or data, one person simply says, you're an idiot, so your argument is invalid. This is an ad hominem fallacy. Rather than focusing on the topic, climate change, the person has shifted the focus to the other individual's intelligence. It's a sneaky way to divert the conversation and score cheap points, but it's not valid. It does not address the argument at hand and instead falls into the realm of personal attacks. So the next time you find yourself in a heated debate, remember, the argument should always take center stage, not the individuals involved. Remember, attacking the person, not the argument, is never a valid point. Ever faced an argument that misrepresents your stance? That's the straw man fallacy. This fallacy is a common tactic used in debates, where one person deliberately distorts their opponent's argument, setting up a straw man to then easily knock down. It's like when you build a scarecrow, it's easier to knock down than a real person, right? Let's illustrate with an example. Suppose person A says, we should improve the public school system. Person B responds, so you think we should just throw more money at the problem? Here, person B has twisted person A's argument into something easier to attack. It's important to recognize that the straw man fallacy doesn't address the actual point being made. It's a diversion, a misdirection. It focuses on a distorted version of the argument rather than the real issue at hand. So, always ensure your arguments address the actual point, not a distorted version of it. Ever heard someone say, this person says so, so it must be true? That's an appeal to authority fallacy. In the world of logical fallacies, the appeal to authority is like a neat little magic trick. It's when someone claims something is true simply because an authority or expert on the issue has said it without any other supporting evidence. Let's say, for instance, a famous athlete endorses a new energy drink. They claim it's the secret to their success. Many might be tempted to believe it because, well, they're a successful athlete. But that's an appeal to authority fallacy. Just because the athlete says it's good doesn't mean it's scientifically proven to enhance performance. This fallacy relies heavily on the credibility of the authority figure rather than actual evidence. It's a shortcut to thinking but it's not a reliable path to truth. Remember, just because someone is an authority doesn't mean they're always right. Ever been presented with only two options when there are more? That's a false dilemma fallacy. Imagine you're at an ice cream parlor with over 30 flavors and your friend says, you can only choose between vanilla and chocolate. That's a classic example of a false dilemma fallacy. This fallacy is a type of logical error that presents a situation as an either-or scenario when in fact there are more options available. For instance, a politician might say, you're either with us or you're against us. This oversimplified dichotomy ignores the possibility of neutrality or a nuanced opinion. It's a way of manipulating a complex issue into a binary choice, often used to force a decision or sway an opinion. The world is rarely black and white, so when you encounter a false dilemma fallacy, challenge it. Ask, are these really the only options? So, don't get trapped in false binaries. There's usually more than meets the eye. Ever heard an argument that one small step will inevitably lead to a disastrous result? That's a slippery slope fallacy. Diving right into it, a slippery slope fallacy happens when a person argues that a particular action will trigger a chain reaction leading to an undesirable outcome. But here's the twist. They do so without providing any substantial proof that these events are linked, or that this domino effect is inevitable. Let's paint a picture. Imagine a friend tells you, if you skip gym today, you'll stop exercising altogether, 
and before you know it, you'll be unhealthy and unfit. That's a classic example of a slippery slope fallacy. Your friend is predicting a series of events leading to a disastrous end, all based on one small action, skipping the gym for a day. So, the next time you encounter a claim that one thing will inevitably lead to a catastrophic outcome, question it. Analyze the evidence. Remember, just because one thing happens doesn't mean it will lead to the worst-case scenario. Ever noticed a distracting argument that's irrelevant to the topic at hand? That's a red herring fallacy. This fallacy, named after the practice of using a smoked herring which is red and pungent to distract hunting dogs, is a deceptive tactic in discussions. It's when someone introduces an irrelevant point to divert attention from the main argument. Let's consider an example. Suppose you're debating the health impacts of fast food, and someone interrupts with, but what about the jobs it creates? While job creation is important, it's a separate issue and doesn't address the health concerns. Or picture this. During a discussion on climate change, someone counters with, there are still places in the world without electricity. Again, this is a legitimate concern, but it's a red herring as it doesn't address the issue of climate change. Red herring fallacies can be cleverly disguised and emotionally appealing, but they steer the conversation off course. Stay focused. Don't let irrelevant points lead you astray. Okay, now we've covered some common logical fallacies. Let's take a moment to recap and consolidate our understanding of these intellectual pitfalls. We kicked off our journey with the ad hominem fallacy, which is the act of undermining an argument by attacking the person making it, rather than addressing the argument itself. Remember, the person presenting an argument and the argument itself are two separate entities. Next up was the straw man fallacy, a tactic where a person distorts, exaggerates, or oversimplifies an opponent's argument to make it easier to attack. It's important to recognize this fallacy to ensure that we're engaging with authentic arguments, not fabricated ones. The third fallacy we discussed was the appeal to authority fallacy. This occurs when someone claims their argument is correct simply because an authority figure or expert says so. However, it's crucial to remember that even experts can be wrong, and their statements should not be accepted without scrutiny. Then, we delved into the false dilemma fallacy, which presents a situation as having only two possible outcomes, when in reality, there are more. It's an oversimplification that can lead to flawed decision-making. Following that, we explored the slippery slope fallacy, in which a person argues that a relatively small first step inevitably leads to a chain of related events culminating in some significant effect, much like a snowball rolling down a hill. However, life is rarely so linear, and each step in a sequence can and should be examined independently. Our final stop was at the red herring fallacy. This is a diversionary tactic where an irrelevant topic is introduced to divert attention from the original issue. It's a smokescreen that can easily lead us astray from the crux of the matter. Recognizing these fallacies and arguments is important not just to counter them, but to ensure we don't commit them ourselves. They help us understand that a strong argument is logical, relevant, and respectful. Keep these fallacies in mind to elevate your debate game. Remember, a strong argument is logical, relevant, and respectful. Keep these fallacies in mind to elevate your debate game. Until next time, stay logical.